wouldn't it be great to have a machine that could do what you want, a dream machine? Um, this is a special dream machine. This is Spocker, invented by this guy over here. And we don't have this um, young boy, but we have Pete who invented and founded my machine. So thanks for taking your time. What's the story behind my machine? Well, what we do in my machine is we um, ask children in elementary classrooms if we can uh, build a dream machine for you, what would that machine do? And uh, it's in the second step, we bring in university students, engineers, product designers, and they translate that idea into a concept. And in step number three, we bring in technical secondary school uh, students and they produce a working prototype. So in one school year, we go from idea to concept to working prototype. So could you explain us what was the idea behind Spocker? So Matisse is six years old and he said, uh, could you please make me a machine that chases away the ghosts from under my bed? So that's what this uh, beautiful little robot does. And for Matisse it was important that only the bad ghosts should be chased away because the good ones protect him during the night. And it's exactly what it does with a filter that scans for good and bad ghosts. And so uh, Ma uh, Matisse knows he can go to sleep safe and sound. And can you give us some insights on, on the details, step by step, how, how does the process uh, look like? Well, um, the university students uh, go into the elementary classroom. So the whole My Machine process is a whole co-creation process where all educational levels collaborate as peers. So they go into the elementary classroom for the ideation with the kids. Mm -hmm. And then finally, all of the kids decide which one of all the ideas that they would have uh, that they want to see elaborated in step two and step three. And then the kids are also involved in uh, uh, you know, translating the concept into, uh, uh, translate the idea into a concept. So it's beautiful to see how an elementary school kit is actually discussing with a university engineer student on how the you know on how the machine w w would look like um, and so then they also are involved in the production of a, a working prototype as they would go to the secondary technical school and 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 uh, learn how it's being built what we're trying to do in my machine is we're trying to uh, st bring more creativity into into education it's about entrepreneurship it's about showcasing that um, having ideas is important and also how do you bring an idea to life that's what we're showing to all the young kids the elementary school children they understand all of a sudden that this is how the world works this is if they see something a, a certain device a certain product then they then they understand okay i see this product it could be a lamppost for example then they understand somebody thought about that somebody designed the lamppost thought about you know in which material are we going to build it and so on and so on so they understand that they can not just be a consumer of society but actually also contribute to society and for the university students for them it's a beautiful way to learn their future future jobs because as an engineer or product designer they need to listen to their customer and in this case it's the elementary school child which is their customer which is a very demanding customer by the way and they have to use their own knowledge to translate what the customer is asking and uh, they need to know what production facilities uh, there are in the sec technical secondary schools. so this is also in their future jobs they need to learn that. What kind of company is My Machine? We are a non-profit organization and we are, have been uh, lucky because the United Nations at some point picked us up and said we want to showcase uh, this to the world and we were invited to present My Machine on a United Nations World Summit in Mexico a couple of years ago. and. Um, that's when a lot of people from different countries uh, addressed us to say that um, you know the reasons you're doing it uh, to improve the education system in Belgium, where, where I'm from, we have the same issues in our country. So could you bring the model to our country? Now we are non-profit, but still we uh, started to franchise the model. So now my machine is not just in Belgium, but it's also in France, Portugal, Slovenia, Slovakia, Norway, South Africa and United States. And we're trying to bring it to even more uh, countries and hopefully as we are speaking to maybe some people who are interested in Germany hopefully hopefully one day in Germany as well yeah so behind you there are many ideas of machines and who did them well we are here today at the OER Congress in uh, UNESCO Congress in uh, in Ljubljana and so I asked uh, all the people here at the Congress like if w if we could build your dream machine what would it be so these are just ideas from adults who are here on uh, at the Congress yeah are they more or less creative than the kids um, I think in general the kids are more creative and it uh, reflects to you know one of the one of the main 
arguments of bringing back creativity into all educational levels is that as we grow up, we all know that young children are really creative. They, they are not limited by knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, they just have a go. Uh, when there's an issue, they just have a go and try to solve it. As we grow up, we tend to lose that disability. And there's a certain gentleman, Sir Ken Robinson from the UK, and he says, um, no, we don't lose it. We are actually educated out of it. So it's like the education system that is really struggling with bringing, uh, you, know, up, up, you know, bringing up young kids and, and still making sure that they can remain um, creative. The teachers working in the education system, they really want that as well. But it's the system that is really, you know, needs a, need a change. And that's what we're trying to do with My Machine. Where to go to uh, if you're interested in My Machine and want to learn more about it? Uh, go to our website, please. And the website is mymachineglobal.org. Thanks a lot. All the best for your work. Thank you very much.